to all creation and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us hear the record of God's saving deeds in history, how God saved his people in ages past. And let us pray that our God will bring each of us to the fullness of redemption. story of creation. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep, while a wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God spoke the creation into being. God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God and saw that, that the light was good. On the second day, God spoke, let there be sky, and there was sky. On the third day, God spoke, Let there be seas and dry land. Let the earth give birth to plants and fruit trees and things with seeds. It was so. And God saw that it was good. On the fourth day, God spoke, Let there be lights in the sky, the sun, the moon, and the stars. And it was so. And God saw that it was good. Fifth day, God spoke. Let the waters birth living creatures and sea monsters, and let birds fly above the earth. And it was so. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply. And God saw everything that God had made. On the sixth day, God spoke. Let the earth birth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of every kind. And it was so. God everything. Then God spoke again. Let us make mankind in our image, male and female. God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply. God saw everything that God had made, and indeed it was very good. And on the seventh day, God finished and blessed the seventh day, because on it God rested. pray. O God, who wonderfully created and yet more wonderfully restored the dignity of human nature, grant that we may share the divine life of him who humbled himself to share our humanity. Your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The flood. The Lord said to Noah, It is time. Go into the ark that you have built, you and all your family. Bring pairs of all animals and birds of the air, the male and female, all that you have gathered to keep their kind alive on the earth. For I will send rain on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights, and every living thing will be blotted from the ground. And Noah did all that the Lord had commanded him. Yes, 
Noah with his family entered the ark with every wild animal and all domestic animals and every creeping thing and every bird and winged creature. They all went into the ark with Noah two by two and the Lord shut them in. Kathy? There are some animals in the pews. That great teddy bear. <laughs> the flood continued, and the waters increased and floated the ark, and it rose high above the earth. After 40 days, Noah opened the window and sent out the raven, but it did not find land. Then he sent out a dove, but the dove did not find land. After seven days, he sent out the dove from the ark. The dove came back, and in its beak was the fresh of So Noah knew that the waters had subsided and the ground was drying. Then God said to Noah, Go out of the ark, bring out with you every living thing that is with you, and be fruitful and multiply on the earth. Then God said to Noah and his family, I am establishing my covenant with you and your descendants, and with every living creature that is with you. Never again shall all living things be cut off by a flood. And this is the sign of the covenant. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have placed in the skies the sign of your covenant with all living things. Grant that we who are saved through water and the Spirit may worthily offer to you our sacrifice of thanksgiving through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Terry, could I ask you to do this? This one? God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to Moriah and offer him as a burnt offering. shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because you obeyed my voice. 